Bradley Cooper is such a great guest with Howard Stern that I literally sat in my car and listened right. to it. We press a button. He is joined by the fabulous uh, Sienna Miller uh, in New York. New movie is burnt. Bradley, I, it's kind of an indulgence, and I don't know if you will, but you were so great this morning, and you told this story. Of, you've worked, obviously, with Sienna before, the, the almost repertory theater of all these people you work with repeatedly. Among them, Robert De Niro. And your Robert De Niro impersonation was so amazing when he apparently watched a video that you had submitted of you and your mother acting opposite one another, and he told you that he liked yeah. the... It, it's, how did he tell you that he liked the tape? He said, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, uh I see it. I see, I see, I see you. Uh, I see it. <laughs> but the, 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 you, ready. you went on to say that you fed off of that, I see it, for oh. years. You said you lived off of it, essentially. Years. Oh, yeah. No, for years. No joke. When was yeah. that? That was pre-Hangover. That was like 2007, I think. A tape of you and Gloria acting. Yeah, I was auditioning to play his son oh. at, for a movie, and he had just seen the tape. He, I couldn't even get an audition, so I just put myself on tape and somehow managed to get to him. He saw it and then called me in. Kind of knowing I wasn't going to get the role, but just, I mean, he's, well, he's such a mensch. It was wow. one of those things of like, I just want to let this actor know that keep doing what you're doing, basically. I need to see that tape. The tape of the audition? Of you and Gloria. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, I wonder it, where it is. But yeah. it, I tell you what, I think it's, it's that easy chemistry uh, that the two of you obviously exhibit, having worked together before. So here you're making the amazing American Sniper. And Bradley, this project is presented to you, and you think, hey, I'll do it if I can get Sienna to do it? You know, not, kind of, yeah. I mean, we had been talking about the project since Silver Linings Playbook, because Harvey Weinstein had the project, and he knew that I worked in restaurants and I speak French, and those two things were assets for that role in the movie. And mm -hmm. he had kept talking about an international cast, but it really was about who was going to play Helene. And we were doing American Sniper, and I just said, well, you know, I'll, I'll do it, but I, I mean, I, let's get to Sienna Miller, and then, it'll be, then, it'll, then I'll really do it. Um, and uh, so then it just became a qu and then John Wells loved that idea because they had met for August Osage County. And then um, it was just about begging her to do it every day, just <laughs> telling her how cool the character is. And then, uh, and, and then thank God she said yes. Was and then he she shows up with a shaved head and tattoos. <laughs> Sienna, was he on bended knee? How did he beg you to do it? Oh, no, he wasn't. It was, you know, it was not. A it was. Bit. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. It was a little hard. No, I was just, I was doing something else, and so I, I actually shot two films at the same time, but we made it work. But it was, like, it was not an easy thing with no. dates, and uh, that was kind of more the issue. I would do anything with this great person here. Um, but, yeah, no, he was, he was, he was really... He was trying to get me to do it, and it was not a hard thing to say yes to, obviously. See, and to answer this question for the women of the world, here, here's the thing uh, about Bradley. This extraordinary success, and it doesn't seem to have gone to his head at all. Is that the most attractive quality? It's a pretty great and pretty astute comment that you've just made, because it's true. Um, he's got to be one of the biggest movie stars in the entire planet, and also one of the most authentic, genuine people and I think that you know that really resonates and people really sense that everybody always asks that question because he's that open and kind of accessible and that's just who he is so yes he is that nice thank you pleasure dude there, look at that. Aww. See, they, they can, uh, uh, they can hug Not and then speak in French. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. I knew it was coming. Yeah, I was well, waiting. Because you just, like, <laughs> I was waiting. Was somewhere. You're required to talk like that. But, but here's the thing, Bradley. What, what I think is so neat yeah. now is that if you say you're interested, that is probably about 95% of the riddle. Uh, is, that, is that the blessing well, or the burden? Definitely... Go ahead. Uh, no, it's a blessing. Are you kidding? And, and it's not going to last forever, and it may not last past uh, next year. And that's the truth. You just don't know. But, but while I'm in this position, uh, you know, to be able to, for example, take a book like American Sniper and try to make it into a movie, you know, those are, you know, you just know you're in, you're, you're in, ref in, in refined air that you may not be breathing for very long, so you want to make sure you make the most of it. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys are going to go do, like, Good Morning Cleveland or something, so we'll say goodbye to you both and remind people that Burnt... Hey, thanks for having us. Oh, Thank obviously, you. a pleasure. October 30th. And, you know,